What's more important than a product's performance? It's one of the essential areas to be focused on considering the humongous number of users utilizing it simultaneously. So let's understand the importance and aspects under performance testing via this comprehensive video. As evident, performance testing is conducted to determine the way an application essentially behaves with respect to the application's responsiveness, speed and scalability under varied load conditions. Being an essential and an elaborative activity in the SDLC, such type of testing requires a primary focus on all iterations of the agile development process. Independent software testing organizations are paving the way in providing clients the accurate solutions for performance bottlenecks with the aim to deliver effective quality. The whole process is a complex combination of the strategy, resource utilization, use of metrics, and in-house frameworks with specific case studies as well. Keeping in mind the end goal of providing an unbiased and transparent way of testing to deliver quality. Under this, we come across a number of test types such as benchmark test to establish a baseline for future reference. A benchmark is about analyzing the relative performance of an application. If the application does not meet the given baseline, then it is regarded as broken. With every build, this test is run and all important characteristics are compared and analyzed to find out the concerned and problematic areas. A load test is executed to determine the application behavior under the peak load conditions and to ensure whether the application can handle the anticipated load conditions or not. Then comes the setup test, which is essentially done to increase the load or number of users with the aim to find the maximum number of users that can work on an application simultaneously. A number of other types such as soak testing aims to ensure that an application is stable under the baseline load for an extended duration. Stress breakpoint test aims to determine the point where the application stops responding due to the current user load. Stress failover test. It is done to ensure that the application functions flawlessly after any kind of failure. Scalability test is conducted with the name to ensure that an application is scalable and supports the number of users when scaled up or scaled down. Spike testing, on the other hand, is a subset of stress testing, wherein the aim is to determine the behavior of system under test when the load increases or spikes beyond the anticipated number of users. Then is the isolation test which at times is done by repeating the test to confirm the faulty domain. Volume test is also conducted to check and monitor the performance of an application under various database volumes. Under configuration testing, the aim is to determine the effects of the configuration changes of components based on the system's performance and behavior. While the testing environment becoming agile, the importance of performance testing with such an approach becomes a comprehensive one wherein the cycle itself shifts left. Thus, testing starts as early as development to chalk out all possible performance bottlenecks from the get-go. This is done in three phases, starting with the unit level testing to fix code level bottlenecks to then moving on to API level testing to fix bottlenecks in the application's component and finally application level testing to check the application flow under various load conditions to deliver a satisfying user experience. Another essential aspect that strikes out and is considered to be the best practice is continuous integration, wherein an amalgamation of the CI processes and load tests become essential in getting efficient results. For example, we at QA Infotech use JMeter plus Jenkin as a solution to complete this equation. As soon as the new build is pushed, Jenkins will trigger the load test according to the performance configuration and validating the performance of the application under load. If the result does not pass the thresholds, the build will fail and will be declared as unstable. After every load test, we can get reports in an easy, comprehensive format and no need to spend hours in analyzing the data. Therefore, with a comprehensive look at the imperativeness and aspects of performance testing, we hope that you learned a little something from this video. To keep on exploring, log on to our website www.qainfotech.com.
Thank you for watching this video.